What's going on guys? Reform Stoic, back with another video. So this is an important one. Um, this is what I talked about in the last video. My advice for high schoolers, mainly high school boys, because I was a boy, now I'm a man. Maybe some people would uh, have some objections to that, <laughs> but I am a man, damn it. And I had a really rough time in high school, man. I was insecure, shy. I didn't start drinking, smoking weed, partying, experimenting with drugs till I was a junior in high school. And that's a funny way to say it because it's like I was, I was late to it. I wasn't good at it. I wasn't good at drinking or smoking weed or partying. I'm not saying, so yeah, what you want to do, kids, is start partying as soon as possible so you get good at it. No, that's not what I'm saying but if you do start partying late you will be bad at it and uh, that's just that's what happened with me man there was the bad kids here were partying drinking smoking messing with drugs some of them ever since sixth sixth grade right and I was kinda known as a goody two-shoes ever since uh, up until my junior year of high school I smoked weed and drank for the first time when I was 16, the very end of the summer leading to my junior year of high school. And from there, it was just whew, zero to 60, started going to all the parties, everything just really changed. Like that was definitely a big pivotal moment in my life. I started hanging out with like rowdy people. That was really the first time people started pressing me more, you know, people wanted to just, not, not really like fist fights, I've only ever really been like in one like fist fight and I got my ass kicked uh, when I was like 19, that was more of an assault than anything, I barely even fought back, but just like a lot of wrestling around, you know, these are like rowdy guys, grab you out of nowhere, throw you on the ground, just start wrestling with you out of nowhere, just a big change for me, I caught on to the hookup culture saw that all these like hot popular girls were just getting down at parties hooking up with different guys and uh this stuff was just sprung on me quick but the whole video isn't supposed to be about partying but a lot of my advice to high schoolers has to do with partying and i even got advice for if you don't listen to my advice because you're probably not my advice is just skip it altogether. Don't drink, don't smoke weed, don't party. But that's what your parents are gonna tell you and that's what your health teacher is gonna tell you. And you don't wanna hear it. You just don't wanna hear that when you're in high school. When you're in high school, it means everything to you. You feel like you're gonna be missing out. You got those teenager hormones. You're trying to get laid. You want a chance to get laid at the party. So so here's kind of my more adjusted, adapted advice is that don't go to all the parties and don't be a party kid. See, at the parties here, there was like the party kids who all the teachers thought were bad kids and who just, you know, came to school drunk and made a point to get drunk as shit at every party. And then there was like the jocks who would show up at the party because they're super cool, but maybe wouldn't get that drunk all the time. Maybe every now and then they'd let loose. So if you're gonna be a party kid, be like a jock who has high value, who, you know, makes an appearance at a party if it's like a real rager if it's a real pivotal thing you know maybe there's like the graduation party or maybe there's like some sort of a homecoming bonfire I do not condone drugs and alcohol for minors period okay that's not what I want the video to be I just know that people aren't gonna listen to my advice my my first and foremost advice is your grades matter like doing good in school matters and high school is this weird time in your life where it's like you really can miss out as a guy it will probably bother you for a little bit 
if you don't get any action, if you don't have any girlfriends or anything in high school. And I'm going to give some advice in regards to that, too. But it's this weird part in your life where, like, you can rebound. You can totally rebound, man. You can sacrifice, you know, trying to get laid at the parties to get better grades, to stay focused, to not go through the dysfunctional family ringer with your parents where it's cat and mouse and you're getting in trouble and you're getting grounded and you're getting your car taken away. Like, just be a good kid, man. It doesn't mean you have to be a puss. Work out, go to the gym. I highly recommend you do sports. Now, if you didn't do sports, if you were like me and you were kind of a late bloomer and just maybe you tried some sports when you were younger, you're not one of these kids who did sports ever since you grew up. Maybe find something that you could kind of just like sneak into. Like I feel like maybe baseball isn't that hard. Maybe that's naive. But, you know, girls love the way baseball guys look in their tight pants. And uh, baseball can't be that hard. You know, you don't have to be amazing at it. But just maybe just sneak into the baseball team, you know? I feel like do you really have to play baseball since you're six years old? That's probably super naive and that sounds ignorant and judgmental. I can just tell you this much, wrestling, I, I saw some football players who transitioned to wrestling, but if you don't, join, if you don't join wrestling until your junior year, um, you're probably going to be a rag doll. But hey, you know what? I mean, there there's exceptions and you can try really hard and you'll get in beast shape and women will see you wrestling and hey, you know what? That, that can help. So I would just say join sports. Like, Hopefully, you already were in sports, but uh, if you're not, I mean, hell, the fact that you're here means you probably weren't. Maybe try to sneak into sports. Get into some sort of extracurricular activity. See what kind of stuff the school offers, man, because that's, that's a better way to meet women, is to be involved in school. And one of the dumbest mistakes that I made, you guys, is that... Um, there was a couple, there was like one girl that was talking about dating me. Like we were, we were talking on messenger and I just remember she was like, you know, if you wanted to like date, it would be different. I was talking about hooking up and she's like, if you wanted to date, it would be different. And obviously I should have been like, all right, let's date. That would have got me a girlfriend. That would have got me some action in high school. She was cute. She was pretty. I had no idea how life was going to be down the road. My standards were kind of goofy. Um, so you probably didn't even need that advice, but yeah, don't act like you're above dating, bro. That's just an example of like how the weird hookup culture was just really a shock to me. I was like, oh, people don't date. People just get drunk and have sex at parties. That really screwed with my head, man, because nobody really taught me anything about dating. It all came from television. Um, my parents just always told me, oh, it will happen on its own. And they had this smug smile like they know everything. They don't know jack shit, dude. They didn't teach me anything. Um, <laughs> like, you're going to regret it, especially if you grow up to realize that you're smart, bro. I was just, I know the pressure of the culture, and I'm not just going to say it's just for the Zoomers or for the Generation Alpha. Like, you know, the mumble rap. Like, it makes it seem like it's cool to be dumb. That's always been a thing, man. Even in the early 90s, you know, Beavis and Butthead and just whatever, bro. It's always been, like, cool to screw off. Yeah, high five, man. And it's not. And you might have, like, high IQ, which is just kind of like your base ability to be intelligent. But if you don't apply yourself, because you see people like me, when I get older, it's like, oh, you know, you know, I didn't really get that great of grades in high school, which I didn't, but I scored pretty high on the SATs, uh, minus the fact that like, I didn't know math. I totally slacked off in math. I didn't learn anything above like pre-algebra. So I bombed the math on uh, SATs. Now I've taken college level calculus, got a B plus. If I retook the SATs, I'd score way higher, but I scored pretty damn high for not doing math. I made up for it with English and other things. So there was evidence that I was intelligent and me play, the way I played drums was evidence that I was intelligent, but I did not apply myself in high school. 
and there's a chance you might not regret it until you're like 26, 27, 28. But seriously, guys, do your homework, go to bed early. You might still have time for a growth spurt, especially if you're like a freshman or sophomore here in this. I reached my final height by the time I was you know, maybe near like near the end of my freshman year. Probably started I probably kept growing a little bit sophomore year and then I started to muscle up and get way stronger my junior and senior year. Bro, eat healthy. Like people who party, smoke cigarettes, smoke weed, you're going to eat stupid food and eat a lot. Like that's definitely when you should unless you're a wrestler and then you know depending on what kind of sports you're doing, but eat healthy food, bro. When people are when it's the weekend and people are going to go to some dumb party, like, and you know, kind of met, size up the parties. It's like, does everybody know about this party? Like, is this like a party that's worth going to? Or just like, hey man, me and the guys are going to like go drink 40s behind the dumpster and go t cow tipping or something. Be like, you know what? I'm going to eat. I'm going to have another night eating my meal plan, like eating healthy food, getting to bed at a reasonable time. I'm going to do some reading i'm gonna like study i'm gonna watch interesting stuff on youtube i'm gonna do my homework i'm gonna and try, try to have like fun when you write papers this is writing papers can actually be fun bro and i knew these guys who were like actually pretty smart in high school even though they're, the, they're complete degenerates and they bragged about the fact that they'd get a's on all their papers and you know they barely even tried and it's like express yourself in your paper do the assignment express yourself now for the record Sometimes that's the difference between getting an A and a B. Um, sometimes like it's like these NPC girls who get the A's and then the guys get B's because really you were being creative and the teacher didn't appreciate it. That's just life, man. I feel like we're living in a time when women are being graded on a curve and maybe sometimes the men are getting sabotaged. Um, don't be a tryhard. Don't be a jester maxer. Don't try to make everybody in your class laugh, okay? Every now, like, put it this way, bro. A lot of guys are looking for every opportunity. It's like, oh, here's a moment where I can say something and make somebody laugh. And, it, and think of it this way. There's like, there's like a seven, there's an eight. There's like a, there's like a grading scale on how good of an opportunity it is. When there's a 10 out of 10 moment and you have like the funniest thing to say and like you're not speaking over anybody or you're not trying and maybe like somebody asked you to talk, go for it. Like just do it once. Sam Hyde said something like this. Say one funny thing every once in a while and then just leave it. And then some of the girls in your class will be like, hey, that guy's pretty funny. But don't try every single class multiple times to make everybody laugh. Like, don't desperately try to win people's approval. If you've ever seen Friends, you probably haven't because you're a freaking Gen Alpha or whatever. Don't be Chandler Bing. Don't try to make everybody laugh all the time. That's beta, that's weak, that's gesture maxing. Be funny, but a little goes a long way, you know? Don't try too hard to be smart. Don't raise your hand all the time. You know, you wanna maybe like do a little bit more than the bare minimum. Like, you know, there's there's the people who, like, don't want to have anything to do with class. They're doing the bare minimum. Raise your hand, like, one more time a week than they do, okay? And just don't try to be noticed. Just be noticed, okay? Don't try to be funny. Just be funny. And don't ever be like, oh, my gosh, I haven't said anything funny for an entire week. It's okay to, like, just be quiet in class. You don't have to try to stand out. Um, and then, and then this is where I could really screw up is with, uh, the social dynamics. It's like, I could probably tell you to like isolate yourself. Cause that's what I always said. If I could go back in time, I would probably just isolate myself and I'd maybe even regret it. So don't isolate yourself, but don't be afraid to not be in a click all the time, bro. Look, clicks is beta stuff. Okay. Like. A group of four, five, six guys who hang out all the time every weekend, bro, those people are probably all going to like stab you in the back someday, especially if you're smart, especially if you're interesting, because these guys are all going down the same road and they're all like justifying their actions. It's like, oh, dude, 
Everybody just drinks 40s and hangs out behind the dumpster on the weekend. Chad does it, and Ted does it, and Rick, and yeah, high five, man. We're all normal. Like, we, we're we seven people who hang out behind the dumpster and drink 40s on the weekends. Um, so then if you're somebody who, like, struggles, because obviously some people who have heard this to this point, it's like, okay, well, I'm, like, short and I'm having the experience of like an incel or a beta and I don't even fit in and I don't even have friends and I eat lunch in the bathroom. What's your advice for me? Get involved in something, bro, okay? Trying to appeal to the cool high school cliques. I call this stuff Lord of the Flies, okay? I would kind of like to be a guidance counselor. It's probably never gonna happen because the system and the powers that be don't like me, but I have something that I call The Lord of the Flies. Maybe that's a book you read in school. Read a synopsis of it if you had it. It's about these kids who get stranded on an island and it's complete chaos, you know? They form their own hierarchy and then they like kill some of the kids and they become dangerous and they worship a pig's head and it becomes complete satanic chaos and anarchy. That's what happens when high school kids are in charge of things. You want adult-led, structured activities. Maybe you have absolutely no athletic ability at all, but there could be something, man. You know, if you're if you're short, maybe like you're in pretty good shape for being short. Maybe you could do good at wrestling. Maybe it would be worth it to try at wrestling. You know, not everybody's the best. Not everybody's like dad is their coach and their dad's got the stopwatch and then they join UFC someday not everybody does that dude but there's not really an excuse you know <clears throat> I don't I feel like you don't really have to be tall to play baseball <clears throat> obviously not basketball but um and then not football there was some there was some really little guys there was guys smaller than me playing football here by the way I probably could have played football to be honest with you <laughs> I think I probably would have got laid out by some big guys but um anyway you gotta get involved it's the only way bro because you're you're worried about the stuff that's led by the kids and that is anarchy that is lord of the flies they're making the rules and their rules are stupid like in the lord of the flies when the rules was like hey we're gonna put a rotting pig's head on a pike and worship it and um, make spears and like kill other kids for fun. That's what's gonna happen if you try to fit in with these people. And then there's just trying to fit in, and that's regardless of like where you stand. But chances are, if you have to try to fit in, you're not like super high status in high school. Bro, be mysterious. Mysterious meaning you're not an isolated nerd. Definitely dress nice. Definitely dress nice, dude. Shop at the mall when it's like Christmas time and don't only ask for like video games and presents. Ask your parents for like gift cards and stuff to the mall. Like wear like, I don't know, whatever people wear at Hollister and American Eagle. Wear clothes that fit. Don't wear baggy clothes. Wear like nice fitted cool clothes you know a band t-shirt here and there maybe with some american eagle jeans or whatever i don't even know how to dress anymore wear nice clothes dude don't gesture max maybe go to some of the parties if you have to you could even go to the party and like hold one beer the entire time dude it just like because here's the thing if you do go to the parties don't make a point to get super smashed that's when you're gonna like throw up and black out and fucking piss your pants and humiliate yourself, bro. Don't be that guy who's like, man, I just want to get smashed this weekend. That's for losers, dude. What you really probably want to do is maybe have a beer or two. I don't condone any drugs or drinking for minors, but, you know, hold a beer so you look normal and blend in and chat up some girls, dude, and try to, like, meet some people and try to, like, win socially I know people talk about like liquid confidence or liquid courage. They're like, hey, you know what? You can get some liquid confidence with like one beer or two beers, bro. You don't need to get smashed. That's really not going to do anything positive for you. So, 
yeah, this is just kind of dumping everything out there, man. Like, you know, when people are telling you that it doesn't matter if you're popular in high school, you can, like, surpass everyone later on. You have to do good in high school for that to be true. The worst thing, this is, like, the most I have to offer, is the worst thing that could possibly happen. The worst thing that could possibly happen is if you get sucked into this, like, it's cool to be a degenerate, and you get crappy grades, and you basically, like, squander high school, and you don't do extracurricular activities, and you don't, like, apply for a bunch of scholarships, and you don't play sports, get good grades, do extracurricular activities, do volunteering, and do... Like, there's all kinds of preppy girls who live and breathe this stuff. Dude, look at what the girls do. That could be a good opener for a girl. It's like, hey, you know, there's all these, like, like find, like, a smart girl who's, like, kind of cute. Find one of these girls who's, like, all into her grades and preppy stuff and be like, you know, you just strike me as, like, you're really smart. And could you just, like, tell me your entire routine for how you apply for scholarships and, like, w where do you volunteer? what kind of volunteering options are there and basically treat some like cute hot smart girl some preppy hot girl because i know there's all these girls out there dude they, they take like ap calculus and they volunteer and they're in like the key club or school politics seriously dude go pick that girl's brain and be like i want to like have a good resume and get into a good college that is like a really smooth opener dude and actually that preppy girl can probably teach you everything you need to know and it kill two birds with one stone kill two birds with one stone bro and if you're like into sports and you just kind of like you know w women love being smart in this day and age they love having that feminism and stuff if you're trying to like be a sporty guy if you play baseball and you just kind of play it's like wow like you just seem like you're really smart and I'm busy with baseball and working out and like Maybe you could just, like, we could hang out at lunch, and maybe I could pick your brain, and you don't have to say that, like, it's not a date. Don't make it, like, clear that... Alright, my GoPro just died, so we're on my phone now. Uh, we're probably, like, in the last five minutes. I'll just wrap it up. I, I saw the red light blink, so I'm pretty sure I know exactly where I left off. Yeah, don't, like, go out of your way to be like, oh, it's totally not a date or anything. That's beta. Don't say that. But you should say it in a way where she doesn't have to be like, I'm sorry, I'm not interested. Like, make the point of it. Like, don't have, like, a cocky smile or anything. Like, hey, what's up? Like, can you, like, teach me how to uh, apply for colleges and stuff? Genuinely pick these girls' brains, dude. Because you want to do that stuff. You want to be in line to get to a good school and then there's the fact that maybe you don't even want to go to college right away. I can honestly tell you, bro, if you wait one year, like maybe you have a job in high school. That never really worked out for me, but that wouldn't that wouldn't be a terrible idea. See, that's what girls do. They get a job, they volunteer, they do the key club or they're in sports. I don't even know how girls find the time to do all this stuff. And then every now and then I see them at the party. It's like girls go into the hyperbolic time chamber or something. But um, none of that stuff is girly, bro. Like, I grew up to realize, like, man, I'm actually pretty smart. I feel like I was, like, one of the smartest people in my town. And I lived my life like a degenerate party dude, bro, idiot. And that's the main thing I can convey to you guys is it's, like, I didn't win later in life because I tried to fit in with these degenerate burnout guys. And, yeah, a lot of them were tall, pretty boys and hot girls threw themselves at them and I was trying to emulate them so I could get some when that just wasn't my lane dude my lane is I shred the drums and I probably should have practiced harder I should have been like getting more into jazz and like memorizing jazz standards and stuff and just really like focusing more on things that improve myself dude but i'm not telling you that you can't get a girlfriend in high school in fact when you're a serious person it shows like confidence it shows that you value yourself it shows that you have self-esteem you'll develop self-esteem it's like man i hit a home run in baseball and um i like play chess with old ladies at the freaking 
old folks home and uh i'm getting pretty good grades i got all a's and b's maybe one c you know you don't have to get the best grades in the world but you should probably try and um it's just so much better dude i got to the point where i was skipping school and um getting in trouble getting high during lunch people wanted to go like get drunk during lunch smoking weed after school every single day smoking weed by myself getting in trouble with my parents there's nothing cool about that and your parents are going to try to tell you that and your teachers are going to try to tell you that and you won't realize it until you're like you're 30 and you're living in a van down by the river bro and i guess my rant is like the rant that's as old as time itself like you don't realize that you blew it until you're 30 and you're alone and your life is a disappointment because those guys are going to peak in high school. Everybody said this a million times. And if you were focused on something in high school, maybe you had a girlfriend, maybe you didn't. You have a better shot to have a girlfriend if you're motivated and you're about something, you know? And then what, what I'm finding is like, don't buy this advice that like, you don't want to get married young. Because I'll tell you what, guys, if you find a really good girl in high school and she's like really sweet and she's religious, you know, obviously I'd say go to church. I'm I'm a Catholic. I definitely say go to church and look for a, a serious church girl. And uh, man, if you find somebody in high school who's serious, get married young, dude. Just because. I can tell you in this day and age, bro, um, women aren't really aging well. And I'm not talking about looks. I'm talking about like personality, values, body count. You might just want to lock down your high school sweetheart, man. A lot of the people that I know are that are married did exactly that. But uh, it's a lot, you know, it's like I want to I want to uh, voice it like it's not a lot of pressure but it is, man. These are like times of your life that you will look back on. And if they were bad, it's going to hurt, bro. But I can tell you that the rebound, like maybe high school is not that great for you, but then you go to college, you know, you don't have a high school sweetheart, go to college, go do whatever it is you're going to do. And when you go to college, like be career focused that is the main point that i wanted to make bro i went for drumming if you're if you're a musician don't go to music school bro don't major in music don't be a major music major minor in music join the jazz band network with musicians in the music program yeah by all means if you want to be a music minor be a music minor but have have a plan it's like i'm gonna be a welder and i'm gonna play jazz trombone i'm gonna be a welder and i'm gonna play guitar i'm gonna learn real estate i'm gonna be a real estate agent and try to make a band bro seriously it doesn't matter how good you are i don't care how good you are dude if like have a battle with me have a drum battle with me dude have a rap battle with me whatever it is you do have a music battle with me dude and i'm probably better than you and i'm sorry for the record i'm 32 years old and i went to berkeley college of music but it doesn't matter how good you are bro you can be like the bands that my band looked up to they were talking about how they all like have mbas you know they went to business school and got business degrees and like so to be good at an instrument, you have to practice like maybe one or two hours a day, bro. Practice makes permanent. Perfect practice makes perfect. Yeah, there's some people who practice like all day, all the time, but two hours a day is plenty, bro. Mike Mangini told me that. I studied with Mike Mangini at Berkeley. He's like, you know what? Do your homework, get good grades. If you if you practice for half an hour to an hour a day, you're fine. Make it make it good practice. Count out loud while you practice use a metronome don't screw around like know exactly what you're going to practice get in there and do it same kind of deal with like working out you know so there's no excuses bro for me it was like such a perfect concoction of like oh i'm a drummer so i can't do any extracurricular i can't do any extracurricular activities or volunteer or do sports because i need time to drum 
and I maybe drummed for like an hour to two hours a day, but I could have did that anyway, bro. I could have played the practice pad and you're probably not a drummer or a musician or if you are, whatever, but dude, find like whatever you're going to school for, maybe go to technical school or if you're going to go to college, do something smart. And I'm not going to tell you what that is. Some people say whatever, like computer science, engineering, um, and there's there's all kinds of people out there. They'll be like, oh, you don't want to do computer science, bro. Oh, you don't want to do engineering, bro. It's hard out there. It's rough out there. I mean, maybe consider I feel like it'd be a good idea to just stay in your hometown for maybe like one year. Maybe one year is the sweet spot. You can still fit in at university. When I went back and I was 25, it was like weird. I felt like I didn't fit in. But especially if you're like still being social, dude, you can stay in your hometown for like a year or two years, maybe still go to those same parties, maybe kind of like develop in like you know, maybe start winning in that social circle, make some money. If you got any advantages, you know, if like your parents can give you a job, if you can get a good job, get a job, start saving up some money. Hell, you might start dating a girl who's still going to high school when you're 20, you know, maybe she's like 18 and you're 20 and you got a sweet job and you're making money. I mean, my dad owns a real estate company and I could have just worked for him and stayed here maybe got my real estate license and that wouldn't be a bad life, you know? Um, it probably, eh, eh, anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter how that would have gone for me. Um, you got to think about your life, bro. You got to think about money. Don't buy into the whole, like, Oh dude, I don't care about money, man. I don't care about money. You will care about money someday and you're better off caring about it right now, bro. So, I know that's a lot to throw at you and I'll just I'll just end up saying it on this that um self-esteem is very important and if you have low self-esteem you're going to try to win other people's approval don't watch black pill videos if you're like 5 foot something if you're under 5 foot 10 and you're a short guy bro dress nice have a serious face. Don't try super hard to hang out. If you're if you're like how I was and you don't know who to sit with at lunch, fucking do your homework during lunch. And if people ask you, it's like, dude, what do you do during lunch, man? It's like, I just do my homework. I just eat in the classroom and I do my homework and it uh, gives me more time to screw off when I get home. And that might not be a bad way to do it, bro. I hated doing my homework. Sometimes I'd set an alarm for like four in the morning <laughs> and wake up and like do my homework early in the morning and go back to bed. Oh, that was so sketchy doing that. Do your homework, bro. Schedule your time. Like, yeah, sometimes doing your homework sucks. But if you procrastinate, you're going to have to do it eventually. Just do your homework, man. It feels so much better to just get it done and get it out of the way. Get good grades don't slack, don't do drugs, don't drink, Jesus Christ is real, the Bible's real, figure it out right now, go to church, that's where you're going to meet the sweetest girls, dude, that's where you're going to meet the girls who are about it, and uh, I can tell you, man, when I see these couples who just got married in their young 20s and popped out kids young, they're winning dude and there's different problems that come along with that you know you get the midlife crisis you think like it's boring or whatever i don't know find a girl who's smart be smart be interesting do cool things you and your wife can be like a young hot couple and you freaking climb mountains and run and write books and the sky's the limit man please just do better in high school than i did because I still, at 32 years old, lie awake at night and stare at the ceiling and think, why was I such an idiot in high school? Like, I can't believe I'm in my 30s now. And I don't really have a lot to show for life. And um, it's the worst combination, man. Going to music school with some, like, dream. You can you can pursue that dream while you're also career oriented. It's all about being organized, bro. And the time when other people are partying, well, that's when you're going to play drums. That's when you're going to do your artsy fartsy dream shit. You want to be a rapper? 
You got to go get a real degree. You got to work a real job. And that money that you make from your real job, you can budget it and put it to the side and buy some beats and buy some microphones and be a rapper, be a drummer. Seriously, bro. Like never, ever, ever be like, I'm going to chase my dreams and I think I can make it. And a combination of that, doing drugs and drinking and being a burnout and being like, <laughs> dude, if I got like a C, bro. I'm so lucky. Like you will be miserable. You will blow it. Life will go by the wayside. And uh, you'll end up like a lot of guys, man. High and dry, lonely, angry. You still have so much time, bro. The the black pill stuff. You can afford not doing great in high school. You can be the rebound guy, man. You can be 23, in really good shape, well-dressed. When you talk to a girl... Well, I just finished my degree and I'm I just got this job and I'm putting down I'm renting this nice house and I got a nice car and winning 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 you can win bro you can win at life still you still got time for the record people older still have time this video maybe would help somebody who's just starting college as well but um just do better than me man just do better than me is there still hope for my life Sure, but it's better to be younger, bro. It's better to be young. Everybody my age wishes they could go do it again. I don't know about everybody, but a lot of people my age wish they could go do it again and do better. And that's what I got for you guys. God bless you. I wish you the best. Hopefully the quality of my phone is all right and I didn't cup the mic or anything. And um, yeah, best wishes. God bless. Go get them.